In this tutorial I'm going to show you two things. So one is I'm going to show you how to to stretch what you can do with Engage and get outside the form and add some animations that are synchronized to audio. And then the second thing I'm going to show you is how to actually build flash animations in PowerPoint. So what what you're going to do is build the animations in PowerPoint slides, publish them with Presenter, and then we're going to take those flash files that Presenter creates and we're going to put those inside your Engage interaction. So let's start with Engage. So Engage is a really cool application and the reason is because it's form based. So you don't really have to have any programming skills. All you need to do is add your content. So you add a title, add some text, you can record some audio, add pictures or videos, and then when you preview it you're going to get something that looks like this. And it looks really great. I mean it's a real nice interface. It's real easy to develop. The only problem is it's a form so the form has some limitations. So for example you can't add um, custom animations or things like that. So you'd have to bring in flash files. And that's uh, what we're going to do now. So let's go ahead and close this preview. And what we want to do is actually build uh, our animations and synchronize the animation to our narration in PowerPoint. So we would come into PowerPoint which I happen to have here. So I have a PowerPoint file with a simple animation on it. So we'll play it. You can see the animation. And um, what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to publish the course. Now I can record audio and then synchronize all of the animations in my slide with the audio. And I go ahead and publish the course and what I'm going to get is a folder like this. So the folder is going to have a player file, the player folder, and then the data folder. Well inside the data folder is a Swift folder and that's where all of your flash animations are going to be. So we go into the Swift and then you'll notice you've got a bunch of folders. So you've got your background files and then there's a slide one, slide two, and then your thumbnail flash files. Well we want is the slide two because that's what we were working on. I happen to have Swift Player which is a free application so that lets me preview the flash files so I can see yep this is the one I want. So that's slide two. So what I want to do is go back into Engage and then I went ahead and created a blank um, tab here. So in this one we don't want to use Engage's form because we're just going to build all our content in PowerPoint. So we don't even need to record audio because the audio we record in PowerPoint with Presenter is going to be in that flash file. So we just add the media. We find the flash file which is slide 2. We're going to go ahead and open that. Now it looks black because it's transparent. If I actually put a background image on the slide then I would see that. So I can preview it, make sure it's what I wanted. I can see that it is. Now what I want to do is set it up so it fills the entire screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it, position it to the top and that's going to center it up on top. And then on auto size I want to do custom size. I want to include a play bar because I just like to give the learners the ability to scrub through the play bar in case they miss something. And then on the display we really want to go to embedded. So it's actually going to embed it. Now it's going to change the size. If you're not quite sure if what size is the maximum you can always type in a bigger number. So I'll type in 900 and then as you can see it's telling me 413 by 310 is the maximum. So I'll go ahead and keep that. I hit OK. There's my video. I can preview it here as well. And then we're going to go ahead and preview that and see what it looks like. All right, so here's our preview and here's our old version. Now let's go to the new version. And as you can see, I've got the video. It takes up as much as it can in there. And then I can see it play. If I had audio, I would hear the audio. So now I can synchronize my animations and everything and just use the PowerPoint slides. Now the one thing is I don't really like to have these borders. I like to have everything look like it's all part of the screen because this is transparent, so it would show through that. So I'll show you how we do that. So let's go ahead and close the preview. All we need to do is go into the interaction properties and then on the media borders we just because that uh, video is the flash file is a media file so we just go to none. We hit OK and then I'm going to go ahead and hit preview. Now you can see that the border is gone so it looks like it belongs into the screen. And if I didn't have the play bar on there it would just play and um, again, I like to have the play bar because it allows the learners um, to click and, um, and, and drag through it in case they miss something. So that's a quick way to do that. So do your PowerPoint animations and audio in PowerPoint.